Hi, this is Mardi once again and welcome to my channel. The Eight Most Important Literary Works by Dr. Jose Rizal For Dr. Jose Rizal, the well-respected national hero of the Philippines, the pen is mightier than the sword. Through his literary masterpieces, he voiced strong opposition to the abuse of Spaniards and conveyed messages that he hoped would inspire his fellow countrymen. Please watch the full video and let us learn together his best works and uncover the underlying meaning behind them. Number 1 To the Filipino Youth Rizal wrote this literary poem when he was still studying at the University of Santo Tomas, originally written in Spanish, A la Juventud Filipina. Rizal submitted this piece for a poem contest organized for Filipinos by the Manila Lyceum of Art and Literature. At the age of 18, this work is beaming with strong messages to convince readers, the youth in particular, that they are the hope of the nation. He also stresses the importance of education to one's future. Rizal won the first prize and was rewarded with a feather-shaped silver pen and a diploma. Number 2 Goodbye to Leonor This literary piece gives an insight into the romantic relationship of Rizal and his beloved, Leonor Rivera. The two met in the province of the Gupan when Rivera was only 13 years old. Rivera's parents were not in favor of the relationship and though distance separated them, the two keep in touch by sending letters and photographs to each other. Rizal later found out that her lady love would soon tie the knot with Henry Keeping, and the news definitely disheartened him. The lonely heartbreaking feelings he felt resulted in this melancholic poem. Number 3 to the young women of Malolos. Addressed to the Filipino women, Rizal's letter entitled to the young women of Malolos reflect his inheritance and issues reminders to Filipino women. In his letter, he addresses all kinds of Filipino women, mothers, wives, and even the single women. Throughout this literary piece, he highlights the qualities that Filipino mothers should possess, the duties of wives to their husbands and children, and a counsel on how young women should choose their lifetime partners. The idea behind this letter sparked after he was impressed by the women of Malolos who won the battle they fought. Rizal advises women to educate themselves, protect their dignity and honor, and live with good manners, setting up as a role model. Number 4. Kundiman A kundiman traditionally refers to a love song where a man serenades the woman he loves. For scholars, this word was derived from the Tagalog phrase kung hindi man, which suggests that people put their faith in a higher being who decides whether or not something is meant for them. But in Rizal's literary work, he wrote a kundiman to profess his intense love for his motherland. This piece reflects his high hopes that one day, the Philippines would be free from treachery and injustice. At the time, the country faced great threats while he was in Europe. 
and through this work, he voices his hopeful thoughts despite being far away from the country. Number 5, Junto al Pasig When translated into English, the title of this work means Beside Pasig River. In response to the Jesuits' request, Rizal wrote this one-act play in Spanish language for the Villada, a gala variety program during the principal feast days. The play centers around Leonido, a young Filipino who has a strong faith in the Virgin and the Diwata or Satan which symbolizes the Spanish oppression towards Filipinos. Its theme highlights Christianity, good versus evil, and paganism. The Philippines national hero wrote in in honor of Our Lady of Peace and Voyage of the UST, and the play was staged on December 8, 1880. Number 6, Noli Mi Tanghere One of the most sought-after books in Philippine literature until today is Rizal's famous novel titled Noli Mi Tanghere. Driven by his undying love for his country, Rizal wrote the novel to expose the ills of Philippine society during the Spanish colonial era. At that time, the Spaniards prohibited the Filipinos from reading the controversial book because of the unlawful acts depicted in the novel. Yet, they were not able to ban it completely, and as more Filipinos read the book, it opened their eyes to the truth that they were being manhandled by the friars. In this revolutionary book, you learn the story of Crisostomo Ibarra, how he dealt with Spanish authorities, and how he prepared for his revenge, as told in Rizal's second book, El Filibus Teresmo. Number 7, El Filibus Teresmo. This is Rizal's sequel to his first book, Noli Mi Tanghere. In El Filibusterismo or The Reign of the Greed, the novel exhibits a dark theme as opposed to the hopeful atmosphere in the first novel, in which it depicts the country's issues and how the protagonist attempts a reform. The story takes place 13 years after Noli Mi Tanghere, where revolutionary protagonist Crisostomo Ibarra is now under the guise of Simon, a wealthy jewelry tycoon. Because the novel also portrays the abuse, corruption, and discrimination of the Spaniards towards Filipinos, it was also banned in the country at the time. Rizal dedicated his second novel to the Gomborza, the Filipino priest named Mariano Gomez, Jose Apolonio Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, who were executed on charges of subversion. The two novels of Rizal, now considered as his literary masterpieces, both indirectly sparked the Philippine Revolution. Number 8, Mi Ultimo Adios After being associated with the Katipoderos, Rizal was arrested and later sentenced to death by firing squad for act of sedition and rebellion. During his final days in Fort Santiago of Manila, Rizal bid farewell to his motherland and countrymen through letters. Mi Ultimo Adios, or My Last Farewell, is one of the few last works that Rizal wrote. Some historical accounts say he wrote it on the eve before his execution, while others claim that he wrote the poem a few days before his death in Manila on December 30, 1896. 
but because there was no title ascribed to this poem, his good friend and fellow reformist Mariano Ponzi came up with a title. Today, Rizal's literary works, specifically his two novels, are alive and continuously being analyzed by students and professionals. Colleges and universities in the Philippines even require their students to take a subject which centers around the life and works of Rizal. Through his work, the country's national hero is always remembered and looked upon with high regards for his contribution towards Philippine independence. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.